In Beijing's central business district, Shei Xiaolong is staring intently at a screen. The excavator it shows is 1,700 kilometers away in Osaka, Japan. Its most notable feature is that it doesn't have a driver. Shui and his team are about to demonstrate to their Japanese counterparts how they can remotely control it from Beijing. The excavator is Japanese made, but the remote control system was developed by Shui and his team. If today's demonstration is successful, they'll win an order from Japan. The team's average age is 28. Their leader, Shei Xiaolong, is 33. A graduate of Stanford University, he's a robotics specialist. Determined to make their robot technology a game changer for the mining and construction industries, they constantly upgraded their hardware and algorithms. The original team of four gradually expanded and they started looking for potential customers. They argued that their new technology could keep excavator drivers safe from flying sand and rocks. But contrary to their expectations, the feedback was far from positive. The team went to stay in a mining area. There, they studied how the excavators operated. <laughs> They concluded that many of the manual operations really could be done more efficiently by a machine, so long as it was equipped with artificial intelligence. Back in Beijing, they worked on improving their product. Based on their better understanding of the driver's actual needs and preferences, they developed a new remote control system, which was soon garnering a lot of interest. This is Yingkao Port in Liaoling Province. In December 2021, the team tested their modified remote control excavator at Yingkao Port. The drivers no longer needed to work in the cabin. Instead, they could operate their excavators from the 40-meter-high key crane. The confidence he gained from his success with the port project encouraged Shui to agree to a demonstration for their potential Japanese customers. There's no driver in the cabin. Yet thanks to the remote operating system, the excavator can complete a series of complex maneuvers from negotiating S-bends to fixed point rotation, all controlled remotely from Beijing. The test is a complete success. Within a few days, they dispatched a remote excavator operating system to Japan. It was the first time the technology was exported.